Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. In this video I'm going to do a review of a new Vintage Collection action figure, but before I get into that I just want to say a massive thank you to Chris and Brett from BanthaSkull.com. They joined me on my first ever live stream that I hosted uh, the other day. They were awesome, great guys, uh, really cool chat, so thank you guys both very much. Thank you also to everybody who was able to tune in live, I really appreciate your support, it was really cool to see you there. And thank you also if you watched it on the uh, replay. But anyway, to the subject at hand, I have got my hands on Grand Admiral Thrawn from Star Wars Rebels VC-296. And let's check out this figure. Alright, so I picked up two of these guys. Of course, one to open, one to keep carded. Uh, picked it up off Trade Me, which is a New Zealand kind of uh, buy and sell site, a little bit like eBay. And fishing hub on there, a guy called Jamie, he always packs an absolutely bomb proof packaging and he chucked in a couple of stickers as well, which is really cool and I really appreciate some awesome ones in there. So got Mary Sithmas and really like this one, Beatles cover parody. Anyway, the figure itself. VC-296, Grand Admiral Thrawn, there he is, Star Wars Smurf, and first ever on Vintage Collection with that Rebels logo, and this whole wave has started to turn up in New Zealand, which is pretty exciting, I'm getting into some more soon, see the Grand Inquisitor, Morgan Elspeth, Ahsoka Tano, and a few others, so... Looking forward to opening more of these, but this one's about Grand Admiral Thrawn. Right, and there is Grand Admiral Thrawn, VC-296. So we're nearly at 300. Let's have a look at him, close-up look. Face sculpt is really, really awesome, although, as other people have pointed out, doesn't really match the picture on the card. The animated version, it's a realistic interpretation. I do like that card, though. I quite like that image. Uh, he has got the correct rank insignia, so Tyler will be happy about that. He's got two code cylinders on each side. He's got the lovely gold at the top of his shoulders there. And he comes with a pistol and a holster, so let's just check that out. I assume it fits in fine. And does. He comes with all the modern articulation, I'm assuming based on the new Imperial Officer body. Shoulders and elbows are both ball hinges. He has a hinge at the wrist, it seems to be just the female or the dainty characters that don't have a hinge at the wrist at the moment. And I think that's just due to factory restrictions. He's got the nice pliable soft plastic lower tunic and he's got the modern barbell articulation what you'd expect from knees and he's got rock around the ankles and nice shiny black boots and just a quick comparison this is the only other Thrawn that I have this is the 5 POA that's right Randy 5 POA is not okay but uh, that's the animated version oh he just fell over He's only five points of articulation, he still can't stand up, and the height is the huge difference there. He is way taller, which I think the character is supposed to be, and also this older version is much closer to the animated. But anyway, it's awesome to have a Grand Admiral Thrawn in the Vintage Collection. Obviously I much prefer this one with all the articulation. Oh, and just quickly... If you watch the Forces with Jesse review, he's got all the other Thrawns. I've only got these two. And there he is compared to Piet. And you can see that his thighs are quite different. He doesn't have the flared out jodhpurs that Piet and the rest of the officers have. He has a different thigh sculpt. Everything else looks to me pretty much the same. Obviously the head sculpt's different. Oh, and the collar as well. So yeah, okay, alright. It's an entirely different torso anyway, because he's got a different rank badge, different number of code cylinders, and a different style collar. So yeah, there's a few few tooling differences, but also very some 
tooling similarities. And one more quick comparison about the colour. So Tim on Boss Bounty pointed out that the Grand Admiral Thrawn figure is not as bright white as the new Imperial Officer from the Officer 4 pack. And then this is the new Stormtrooper figure. And yeah, he's very bright white. And then this Clone Trooper was criticised for not being very white. But he's much more of an ivory than, I guess you could say, Thrawn is almost a creamy white. So not sure what's going on there. And this is a sort of thing why the super articulated vintage collection is way better than those five POA figures. You can get them into all sorts of wacky poses. And yeah, it's really cool to have this guy in our collections. Um, fantastic figure. I'm sure there's a realistic Mads Mikkelsen version coming to us at some point. Until now, this Rebels version is really cool, and yeah, if you've made it this far, I'm middle aged Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. Thank you so much for watching. Kakite, and I'll see you on another video.